Hey, what's up? I'm Norris and welcome back to another solo. Today we'll be doing the order construction for my new Nomi pattern 2023. And today we'll be doing view C, the short. Now, because this is not a learn to sew video, if you need further instructions, I will advise you to go to sewedacademy.com where you get the first five courses for free if you sign up for the free trial. Do that, come back, and follow along with me. Okay, so again, like I said, we'll be doing order of construction for this sew alone, um, Nomi 2023, and we'll be doing view C, which are the drop crotch um, shorts. Now, I wanna congratulate you for having the courage to make these pants. Um, they're not your typical drop crotch um, design. So if you look at the back, you'll see all the body measurements. You want to align that up with the small, medium, large, extra large, and also double X, L. And down here, you'll get the finished garment measurement that includes the design and wearing ease. Okay, so now let's go through all the pattern pieces. You need pattern piece number 15, which is the front casing. And then you're going to cut it out on the fold here and you're going to cut one. You'll need pattern piece number 13, which is the pocket. You're going to cut four of these. Now, depending on how thick your fabric is, you might not want to cut four of these out of your fabric. You want to cut two and then you can use a, a thinner lining like I did here. Now, this right here is going to go on the front and then this right here will be the back pieces. Okay. So cut four of these out of fabric, or you can cut two out of fabric and two of lining, but just make sure the lining is still a knit. Next we have pattern piece number 14. Now this right here is your gus gusset. You wanna cut one of these out of your fabric. Now remember, you want to mark every single thing you see, okay? Make sure you do all your markers for this piece. Pattern piece number 11, which is your front. You wanna cut two of these out of your fabric. Pattern piece number 12, but this is your back. You want to cut two of these out of your fabric as well. Pattern piece number 16, your back casing. You want to cut one of these on, your, on the fold, and the fold is right here. Then last but not least, we have pattern piece number 17. This is your elastic guide. This is only to measure up against your elastic for you to cut how long your elastic is. Now, once you Cut all of your pattern pieces out of your fabric. We can begin sewing. Okay, so first things first, before we get started, you wanna go ahead and take both of your front pieces and we're going to stay stitch just to reinforce this corner here on your front piece. Stitch about an inch away from the dot, pivot, and then go about an inch down just to secure it. And then down here, we're going to start where your notch is, right here. You want to back stitch and then stitch all the way to the end just so it won't stretch. So you want to stay stitch here and then also you want to reinforce this corner on both of your front pieces. And then for your back piece down here at the bottom, you want to start here and then stitch all the way up till you get to your three notches on your, both of your back pieces. Okay, so once you do that, you want to go ahead and grab both of your front pieces. You want to take your scissors. Now we're going to clip right into this corner here, but not through your stitching, just to that marking. Okay, just like that. Okay, so after we do that, we're gonna take your front pieces and right sides facing. We're gonna pin along here. Okay, so now head to the machine. We're gonna stitch across here using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. As you can see, I went ahead and stitched the center front of the front pieces together. I finished the seam off with a serge, and I just pressed it to one side. And then now we're gonna take our back pieces, and we're right sides facing. We're going to match them up at the inner leg here, and we're gonna pin. Okay, so now we're gonna head to the machine and we're going to stitch on the inner leg here and then across here using 5 8 inch up in the seam allowance. Do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. As you can see, the wrong side is faced up. And this is the back attached at the leg here. I'm just going to 
open it out now so we can attach our gusset. And I finished off the inner leg seam with a serge and I just press it towards the back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you wanna take your gusset. Now for your gusset, you have two dots at the front, you have one notch towards the front and then you have three notches towards the back. That's how you know how to lay it out, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take those dots and we're going to match them up right sides facing. So just basically I'm just going to, so I'm gonna make it easy. So this is the back. So to do right sides facing, I'm just gonna turn it up a bit so that right side is facing up. And then now the right side here matches up perfect. And then I'm going to align that dot right in the same place where the dot is here. And I'm going to pin. And then to get to the side, I'm just going to pivot it over. And I'm going to pin here. Match up that one notch on the side. And then I'm going to match up that notch or dot. It could be a dot. I do all my dots as um, notches because it's just easy for me. And then I'm going to pin there. And then in the back, you want to align up your triple notch and then pin. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so let's head over to the machine. We're going to start on one side, stitch all the way through, and when we get to the front, we're going to stitch right where we get to our marking here, where that dot is, pivot, and then we're going to go across the front, then we're going to pivot again and go all the way down the other end, okay? So let's head to the machine and stitch that down. Okay, so you want to back stitch at the beginning and also at the end. And then once we get to that dot there, we're going to lift your presser foot up. Straighten everything out. And then we're going to stitch across. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. As you can see, I finished off this seam allowance here with a serge, and then I pressed it towards the front and back pieces, and then on the front side, I top stitched it a quarter inch away from that seam, okay? So you can see them come together just a bit. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our pockets. Okay, so for our front pieces, I'm gonna move the back out of the way for right now. So for the front, I'm going to take, I'm going to use the lining pieces. I'm just going to line them up just like this. And I'm going to pin them. Match the notch. And then we're going to stitch both sides down from the top to the bottom of the pocket right here using 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, okay? Only 3 eighths of an inch, not 5 eighths right now. So let's go ahead and do the back two. We can do all of them at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna hit the machine. We're gonna do the back as well using three eighths of an inch seam allowance. Do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see, I'm back from the machine. I have my back pocket on my back. Then I have the front lining ones here. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to use one side at a time. So we're going to line up that outside seam. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna stitch using five eighths of an inch from the edge of the front and back piece. Okay, so stitch five eighths of an inch, back stitch, cut your threads at your dot, and then we're gonna move to our other dot. You won't see dots here because I put notches instead of dots, but you want to start back stitch here and go all the way down to the hem, back stitch and cut your threads. Okay, so we're gonna leave the portion open for our pocket entrance. So once again, start here, back stitch at your first dot or your marking, whatever marking you made, cut your thread, start back here and go all the way down. And we're gonna do that for the front and back. You do not want to do this just yet, okay? So do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. As you know, I've stitched here, five eighths of an inch, cut my threads and then started here all the way down. And then now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to turn it right side out. Now, I'm gonna start on one side now. So this is one of the side seams. So this is the front here, this is the back. You wanna take your back pocket and push it towards the back, and then your front pocket, push it towards the front right now. And then you'll get a little opening here in the center. And what you wanna do is, you want to press that side seam down here at the bottom, you want to press that seam open. So if you want to finish your seams off serge like this, you can do that before you put this together or you can do it like I did after I stitched it. Now, only working on the front. So we're going to start on this side. We're going to top stitch and then pivot a quarter inch away and then go down just the front side of the pocket opening. And then we're going to go back to the seam in the center. Okay, we're not going to do anything for the back, just only for the front. We're going to top stitch that. So just so we have everything straight, I'm just going to pin a couple of times here so that pocket won't fold back. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the front on this side. So we're just opening that pocket up just like this. Okay, so let's head to the machine once again. This is on the front. So we're gonna stitch out a quarter inch and then we're gonna finish top stitching a quarter inch away from the opening only on the, on the front side and then we're gonna pivot back into the side seam, okay? So let's do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, I'm back from the machine. As you can see right here, you see the top stitching on the front is just a quarter inch away from that opening. So now I'm gonna turn the right side out, wrong side out. Once again, and then that back side seam, we're just going to clip into it so we can leave that seam open. Now we're just going to align up that pocket bag. Should be two notches here. Okay. So now we're gonna to head to the machine. We're gonna stitch five eighths of an inch all the way around. And we're going to stitch until we get to that side seam right here, okay? So all the way around, coming right here, stopping right here at that side seam. And you want to pin and do the other side the same exact way. And you're free to serge this raw edge if you want. So do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. As you can see, I went ahead and did my pocket bag and then searched the seam. And then I took my pocket bag and placed it towards the front, not the back, but towards the front. And then I based it to the top, okay? So now it looks just like this. Now for right now, I'm gonna put this to the side and we're gonna work on our front and back band, waistband. Now that we have our front and back band, you wanna be sure to do your two buttonholes to the front for the drawstring. And also, just to note, I went ahead and put two squares, one on each side for a little bit more durability for that buttonhole when it's going through this, this fleece, okay? So now, now that we have the front, you wanna take the back and we're right sides facing, we're gonna place it right over the front and then we're gonna pin 
So before we continue, I just want you to know that this calls for a two and a half inch elastic. Um, right now, I only have two inches. If you don't have two and a half inches, you can do the same thing with the two inches. Um, it's not going to be that much of a difference. You will still get a nice thick elastic band, okay? So now we're gonna to head to the machine. I have two dots here, and make sure your two dots are on the opposite end of your two buttonholes, okay? So you want to start at the edge, back stitch, and stop and cut your threads at that dot, and then you wanna skip over to your other dot. You wanna back stitch at the beginning, and then stitch all the way to the end, back stitching at the end, okay? So you don't have to do this for both sides. The instructions will tell you to do this on the left side only. Um, you can do it on the right, you can do it on the left. Just make sure you don't do both, okay? So do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. I went ahead and pressed the side seams, and as you can see, one side I have that opening, and then the other side is pretty closed. And then now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn it wrong sides facing. So that opening should be on the inside, as you can see right here. And then you just want to make sure everything matches up and straight. Now you can go to the machine, you can base the raw edges together using that basing stitch. But I'm gonna just go ahead and pin mines to my shorts, just like this, okay? So now go ahead and grab your, your shorts. And this is the front, as you can see, you see the top stitching. And the pocket should be based towards the front. That's how you know in the front, all right? And if this right here was already done, you'll see the button holes facing you. So now what we're gonna do is just turn this upside down like that. The buttons holes are on the inside and we're just going to slide this inside like this, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pins. Now there is a notch for you to match up all three layers, your band and then also your shorts, and we can pin. Okay, now that we have it all pinned, we're going to head over to the machine and we're going to stitch all the way around the waistband using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, okay? So do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and attached the waistband. I finished the seam off with a serge, and then right here, as you can see, we still have that opening. Also, I pressed that seam allowance down to get that nice look. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and take my elastic. I'm gonna go ahead and pin it to a safety pin just like this and we're gonna go ahead and insert this to our band. And before that elastic on the other end go inside you want to just pin it to keep it out and then continue. Okay once it's on the other end we can go ahead to the machine, just put them out, just pull them out just a little bit. And now you just want to go and just overlap it about a half inch or five eighths of an inch and just do a little zigzag stitch all the way up and down or a straight stitch up and down a few times just to secure it and then come back and we'll continue. Okay, so now that we got this zigzag together, we can go ahead and push it inside. Make sure that seam allowance is back inside. Okay, so now, only thing I do is just hand stitch this and you're done with the waistband. And then for your jawstring, what I do is I just go ahead and take the edge so it won't fray, and then put it onto a safety pin. And I just push it inside one buttonhole and then come out the other buttonhole same exact way we did the elastic, okay? So go ahead and do that and we'll continue. Okay, so after you put your drawstring in, you can go ahead and make a knot and then cut off the extra or you can use the stoppers that you, the plastic or metal stoppers that you can put on to adjust it. And then last but not least, once again, you wanna go ahead and stitch, hand stitch 
that opening here on your waistband and then finish up your hem allowance. And after you do all of that, you're all done. All right, congratulations, you're all done. Now be sure to tag and also follow me at Norris Dancer Ford on all socials. See you in the next one.